Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at seasonal challenges, but before I get started with that. So before we start with the video, I just wanted to let you guys know that a high percentage of people that watch my videos are not subscribed according to my analytics. So if you could do me a favor and subscribe, hit that bell notification, I would very much appreciate it. If you like my content, if you like just me in general, that would really help me out. So on with the video. So with that out of the way, let's talk about seasonal challenges. So I'm going to be going through each week until it's all over, until like we get to the seasonal this right here. So essentially, if you guys don't know, we don't have weekly bounties anymore. We have weekly challenges. So the cool thing is the fact that you can actually do these whenever you want. So let's say you didn't do week three bounties for Crucible or whatever. You'd actually just go back and do them. I'm not sure how it's going to work retrospectively, like maybe like oh i click it and then this is the stuff i'm working on we'll see but i like this it means that like for people who don't want to do their weeklies like three weeks in a row when they, they just want to like take a break and do something else this is great i like it a lot uh i do see it as people pe i do see people complaining and saying oh it's just more fucking dumb shit to do i do see that point but i personally like it because that means i can be more lazy and let future tony handle all of the grind that he's gonna have to deal with i have a few things here and there but let's start with the beginning so first and foremost contenders uh, contenders ascent basically report to the war table in the helm and complete the challenger's proven quest then defeat cabal with rocket launchers anywhere in the in the system so this isn't really hard i already have 10 and i i hate rocket launchers so this is not going to be hard at all golden reaper acquire cabal gold by plane strikes gambit crucible public events and more I got the 35 from just running the uh, Shattered Throne dungeon. I just wanted to do it just to get some stuff, and I've it was fine. Well, I will have a video explaining like the dungeon mechanics each dungeon because since they're be since they're becoming more relevant, it just seems like I, a thing to do, especially for newer players. Lenses and focus. Participate in the battlegrounds playlist to unlock your first lens. You're gonna get this eventually if you keep playing. Smash tribute chests and focus season of the chosen ingraps using charges from the Hammer of Proven. Uh, the Hammer of Proven, we'll all explain that in future videos, but yeah, I already got it and I'm currently working on that right now. Challengers aspiration, complete weekly playlist challenges. I'm hoping this is the thing that replaced the weekly thing, which would mean we would have to get, what is it? 100, 300 maybe, 340. 60 i don't remember the, how much it is specifically but it should equate to three it should equate to three of the uh of the gambit cru uh, crucible and vanguard hopefully icebound on europa earn progress by completing bounties patrols public events and lost sectors this won't be hard but it will be tedious Dredge up, judging up victory. Complete gambit matches, earn bonus progress for wins. So this is the gambit one. Then this is the PvP one. Defeat guardians and mayhem playlist with super abilities. That doesn't seem annoying to me. This seems more just like whatevers. Defeat fallen combatants and strikes. Okay, so these are the three that are actually that. Hmm. All right, we'll see how they go. I'm definitely like next week we'll talk about the progress and how it was and hopefully these are not too bad and then last but not least calibrate kinetic weapons on europa earn bonus progress and lost sectors i wasn't even doing lost sectors and now i'm already at 60 percent so that's pretty much it we'll be back with week two hopefully these are not too annoying uh we do get some rewards here and there like war table reputation war, te re war table reputation again and then we get a rocket launcher with this on top of war table repu reputation and it says empress that might be a a book for the triumphs so whatever and then last but not least this one is going to be for the end of the season it just means that you completed all of the challenges like all of them so this one you're supposed to get like a fuck ton of bright dust i don't know how many i don't remember off the top of my head but it's supposed to be a lot if I remember like 10,000 or some shit like that it is wild. So I do recommend you do these if you want to get more bright dust. These are pretty much simple ways compared to the old ways, which was just run uh, bounties. These are basically bounties, but I think these are done in a, in a better way because I've been playing casually, not even focusing on this. And some of these I'm already almost done with. 
so and some of these are like you're gonna get them eventually in the game later on it might become more of a grind fist but we'll wait and see until that happens if it does i'll definitely call it up but that is week one guys i will have week two next week and be safe guys you know what's happening in the world and i will see you guys later